Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Ebag, and WTF New World. Am I right? This game is something, so let's talk about what we think so far, shall we? Alrighty, New World is an upcoming action MMORPG coming from the Amazon Game Studio. New World, set to be released on August 31st, allows you to explore a thrilling open world MMO filled with danger and opportunity where you'll forge a new destiny on a supernatural island of Atrium. New World offers a dynamic crafting system and open world PvP where players fight for territory control, which offers bonuses to the faction that has the territory under its control. So I only have played New World for 11 hours, so I'm nowhere near seeing what the game has to offer towards the mid to the later game. But what I can say is that for those several hours, I had a blast. The action combat brings a nice flair to the combat system, where dodging and blocking plays a huge part in survival. I found myself fighting higher level monsters and winning by simply fighting smart. The only downside to this is that I was not able to kill the enemies fast enough before they respond, but the feeling of knowing that they, I could kill such a thing was great. Level 18. I might be able to kill this thing. Ooh. I was really just trying to get iron, but now I think I'm getting and biting off more than I chew. Oh, I missed. Just gotta fight it smart, right? Let's play this one smart. Oop. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's not smart. Mm. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, he just oh, we aggroed another one. Does that slam? He just goes crazy. Okay, okay. Oh, I don't want to fight this thing. And yeah. Oh. Big hit and big hit. Yeah. Oh, he's... Uh-oh, uh oh uh oh, oh. Whew, I did it. Uh, nice. I thought that would break it. So you just gotta fight smart with these t higher level enemies. <laughs>
Okay, well, I can do it. I can definitely kill them. The only downside is I don't kill them fast enough. They're just responding. <laughs> Another cool thing was the ability to level up any weapon in the game with the same character. If you feel like you want to switch it up and use a spear, you can do that. Also, combining the different weapons with other weapons allows for a neat mechanic. I went with the sword and shield along with the hatchet. It's allowed me to tank when I was up close and use my throwing hatchet from afar. And let me tell you this, it was cool. Each weapon has two skill trees that you can progress through based on what suits your fancy. With the sword, you can go down the path to dish out damage or down the path to take the damage. With the hatchet, you can create a berserker class or simply just throw your hatchet. With the sword, you can go down the path to dish out the damage or down the path to take the damage. With the hatchet, you can create a berserker class or simply just throw your hatchet. This allows for a unique build as each skill will carry over to the other weapon. For example, stacking debuffs with the hatchet and having a skill that increases the damage to the foes with the debuff allows you to ditch out more damage with your sword. Combine that with an extra damage you get on your third swing with the sword, boom, more damage. It says 131. Let's see something here. Let's test this out. Come here, you. Oh, good one. 114. Yeah, so then if I do this, that's 114, and I'm taking with that. Yeah, I do more. Alright, let's see. Try this again. I want to do it on one. Here, let's get this one. So if I just see here, let's see. Oops, let me do that. Hit him with that. Let's see. Sword. Now, 128 normally. And... They all the same. It's a scavenger. Oh, I don't know. Scab. Here we go. 114. Yeah, so I do do more damage. Okay, cool. So it does cross over. Nice. This system alone really has me excited to go through each weapon, find the best combos. It gives a real feeling of an ARPG when trying to find the perfect build by mixing and matching the different weapons. Not only does each weapon allow you to build a unique class, the weapons feel and play differently. For example, with the hatchet, you're not able to use your shield. This makes relying on your dodge very crucial. The feeling of running in and doing a lot of damage and getting the F out feels great. Another thing that got me excited for New World is the crafting system. How much it plays a huge part in the economy if you want to make money, you better start perfecting your crafting. Items in questing give you barely any money to do anything with, and salvaging your items yield like you like 0.2 gold. Yes, 0.2. Nothing. Garbage is what that is. But I don't understand why. They want players to drive and shape the economy, and each territory will have its very own economy in play. To craft, you have to gather resources around the world, just like in any survival game. But you have the resources, they have to be refined into materials. 
and allow you to craft certain items. On top of that, running around gathering resources does not feel like a waste of time. Running around the world for a few hours will yield you a good amount of resources without trying. It's plentiful out there. Give some blueberries. Oh, it's gone. Well, most of it's gone. Now I can go up here. Yeah. Back to and get some iron. It's like perfect timing too because no one's been up here the whole time. Oops. Up. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like now this should be like plenty of stuff up here. I need to just kind of hit all this right now, to be honest, because no one's been up here, really. When you are ready to finally make your items, you find the crafting bench of your choice and start making the stuff. It's that easy. Easy but complex as well. Each item will have a gear score rating, which is based on your proficiency level with making that particular item. The more you make an item, the better an item you will get. Now let's make some boots. Seriously? There we go. Burn, bleed, and poison inspires 3.4% faster. Plus two construction or con construction con constitution. Uh, plus two con, plus four focus though. Ooh. Two ten though. So, oh, I'm making things up to 210 now. Oh, damn. Oh, we have 300. Makes some pretty good stuff for some low levels. Okay. There needs to be a remake button here, like craft again. I 
And 208, increased critical hit chance by 4% against targets affected by Tornado's Bleed. Right here, if you were really, if you really want to level up your crafting and armor smithing, that is definitely what to make. Get the most out of it. Boots as well. Two or three. Penetrating shot kills reduce this ability's cooldown by two. Okay. Looking for something. Cool, 214. Ah, oh, it's supposed to be intelligence. Interesting. So the more you make of that same... We oh, okay, cool. So the more you make of the same item, it boosts up. The That's cool. I like that. So this is up to 215 now. Because I made so many of them. So I can get up to 300 gear score at level 7. <sighs> Give me something good. Rain of arrows. Need that. Heal for fourteen percent of the damage dealt with path destiny. That's actually pretty good. Heal fourteen percent of the damage dealt with path or leech. No, I don't have that. Never mind. I was like, damn, if you do have that. I don't have that either. Okay, we can make a bunch of these. I'll go. I don't want this focus, though. That's not bad. Base damage increased by 20% while performing a whirling blade attack if three or more enemies are within the radius of the attack. Huh. Ah. We team with three intelligence. Mm. Achievement unlock, Nova's armor. Oh, cool. This feature allows the player to decide if they want to focus on one particular crafting skill, which in return allows you to make better items within that skill set. Or become a jack of all trades and be, and be okay at everything. The choice is yours. Increasing your level is not the only thing that will allow you to make better gear. Entombments drop as reward items when killing monsters or looting chests. These attunements will allow you to add special attributes to an item which will help enhance your build even further. Now, let's see, that's 200, 141. I wish you had a comparison. So this is a 128, 185, so it's kind of... It looks cool. I definitely like the look of this scout breastplate, but it's really not doing much for me right now. And stuff, and definitely getting some mad style points, though. So let's see, we can add strength and dexterity to this. We got two of those. We can do some strength. Um, we got this for con. We can add some health to it. That might be good. We can either do more damage or more take more hits. Hmm. Reinforce skinning luck. We can increase our skinning luck. Crap. 
See, I wish I knew what this does. Click it. What happens if I click it? You get Sundering Reposit. So I have no idea what it does. It doesn't tell me. We need some more tooltip. I have to actually go to the item itself to figure out what it does. Grants Ren, reducing damage absorption of target by 5% for 10 seconds. That's actually pretty good. That might actually be pretty decent. I just don't want to waste it. Whatever. Because we already kind of have that too. We have that with our skill. Right here, this does that. 100 weapon damage and applying Ren, reducing target's damage absorption. This will be 15%, so they'll take more damage. Right, let's try it out. Hopefully it gives me something cool. Alright. There's the chest piece. And we'll add that. Let's see what happens. 205, okay. Strength and Dex. Nice. I'll take that. Physical 145, 145. This helps with becoming a master in your craft. While everyone is spitting out random swords, you can make a special sword and sell it for more money. By becoming a master in your craft, you will also increase the chance of getting special attributes as well. On top of that, you can apply a special resource to the item to help increase the chances of better items. This plays well with deciding on becoming a master or jack of all trades. Great stuff, and I cannot wait to dive more into it. Overall, I think New World is a great game, and I had a lot of fun playing. I have not played an MMO in a very long time, and this may be the game that brings me back into this genre. I have not been able to try the PvP features within the game, so I'm not sure how that will play out, but it does sound interesting and gives me something to look forward to later down the line. Once I get that stage of the game, I may do a video on the PvP. Please keep in mind, this is no, in no way a review on the game, but more of my thoughts on it. The more I play the game, I'll be able to give you a more in-depth review on it, but with that being said, here are my thoughts. The combat is clean, smooth, and fun. Fighting each enemy is engaging and is nice to take over the traditional targeting system. Spam your skills over and over. The music is great and the ambience is really pleasant. I found myself getting lost in the world. The world itself is beautiful to look at and has plenty of places to pull you away from your destination. I found myself running off to look at something in the distance several times. The crafting system is great and feels more evolved than, any, than other games that I've played. Now for the negatives, again, I have not played it a lot and it's hard to judge the game based on that alone. But I do see one issue. Items and gear. I do see that items will become stale over time and we may see a lot of, a lot of the same stuff over and over again. And this is not a big issue as this is the norm with these types of games. The saving grace for that is the ability to create items with attributes. I just hope that the crafted items are not to go to over the world drops. We'll see. Anyways, that is that. Those are my thoughts so far with New World. I hope you liked the video and this video helped you in some way or form. If you liked the video, please let me know. And if you want more of these types of videos, let me know in the comments below. Well, I'm Ebag and you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash ebag01 where I stream regularly. I would love for you to come over and hang out with me. If you're on the fence about a game, don't worry, I got you. I play a variety of games, so you may see something you like. Peace out. I'll talk to you all soon.